A controversial fence separating two communities is set to be torn down tomorrow. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live in New Haven with more on what this fence means to those living around it. Josh? Aaron, we're here live on Wooden Street on the New Haven side of the fence. And if you take a close look at the center of this controversy, it's certainly a lot more than one fence. In fact, for three tenths of a mile, it's two. And the intention here is clear. You have a chain linked fence followed by a fence about 12 feet, 10 feet tall, maybe, of even smaller chains. And the, the intention is clear. They're trying to impede on the transportation of getting from one side to the other, transporting from New Haven over to Hamden. And it seems to be at the center of a very large debate as we found out that now it's on the New Haven side. They're going to be taking this fence down on Monday. We've had the opportunity today to talk with people on both sides of the fence, and it seems that there are two very different opinions. On one hand, you have people on the New Haven side who say that because it impedes their ability to get over to Hamden, it also impedes on their quality of life, making it harder to get to places like the grocery store and local parks that are over in Hamden. But there are people over in the Hamden side who say that it will, if the fence does in fact come down, it risks their safety and they say it may even risk the safety of their children too. I'm not quite ecstatic about this fence coming down being the fact that um, we a lot of people have children out here all right and um, more traffic means more cars all right and at any given instance it's like we got to be that much more prepared. Again, that fence will be coming down, at least as scheduled tomorrow morning. We understand it's going to come down in phases. There'll be a press conference held by the city of New Haven, which we expect Tony Harp, the mayor of New Haven, to be in attendance at. And she's allegedly going or supposedly going to be addressing many of these controversies. She's called the subject of this fence a very painful moment in the history of the city of New Haven. But as we learned uh, today, it's also, uh, if it comes down, could be a very painful moment for the people of Hamden as well. So coming up tonight at 10 and 11 o'clock, we'll delve a little bit more into their story and tell you some more of their concerns and why they hope the city of New Haven reconsiders their decision to take down this fence. For now, we're live in New Haven. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.